Okay, this says to find the inverse of this function here. So, as usual, to find an inverse, you always want to set this up with y equals. And then the thing that makes the inverse happen is when you switch the x and the y. So those just change places. So it's going to be x equals 6y minus 42. So we've done the inverse, but what we want to do is get y by itself so we can get the equation in the right form. So the first thing you'll do is you'll take care of whatever you're adding or subtracting, which is 42. I'm going to add that to cancel it out on this side. So on this side, I'll have x plus 42. Then these cancel out and I just have 6y by itself over here. Now to get y by itself, all I have to do is get rid of this 6. So I can divide that out. And those are going to cancel out. I'll divide over here as well. Uh, this is an acceptable answer as it is, but it's best if we take it a little further. And what you can do is distribute this 6. And what I mean by that is you can divide both of the terms on top by 6. So you'll have x over 6 plus, and you have 42 over 6. And that's still equal to y. Now we can simplify just a little bit. x over 6 is just going to stay as it is. But 42 divided by 6 is... 7. So that's our inverse right there, x over 6 plus 7. And again, we can, uh, when this little wheel stops spinning, we can write it with the little inverse symbol to make it all like formal and official here. So f negative 1 of x equals x over 6 plus 7. There you go.